Can I make a candle holder with a decorative inlay? <laughs> Unlike in the past, the inlay is intentional. I cut a scrap of three quarter inch oak I had into a base of five and a quarter by four inches. I cut another scrap of red oak to two and a quarter by two and three quarters for the top of the holder. I connected the diagonals to find the center and drilled a one and one half inch hole on the drill press. I used a quarter inch straight bit on the router table to cut grooves for inlays in the top. The top came out a mangled mess. Time to try again. I didn't have any more oak wide enough, so I cut and edge glued some narrower stock together. Being more careful this time, I cut grooves for the inlays in the base. Then I cut a strip off a piece of walnut I was given and then I cut it to one quarter inch wide. Using the miter box, I cut the piece oversized for the long side of the base inlay. It was a little too wide, so I sanded it down until it fit and glued it into the groove. When it came to making the pieces for the short sides that go between the long pieces, I held it in place and marked it with a knife, cut, and glued it into the groove. I glued some of the excess pieces for the ends on the short sides. While that dried, I cut the edge glued new top down to size. I used the edge jointing sled to do the second cross cut because it was too small to do comfortably. A cross cut sled is something I need to make in the future. I also ripped it from both sides to keep the seam in the middle. No inlay for the top this time, I just use a camphor bit on the inside of the hole. I cut the excess inlay material with a small saw. For a pedestal, I cut a one and three quarter inch length. I sanded the inlay flush with the surface. I use the camphor bit on all the long edges of the top and bottom and all the edges of the pedestal. Sanding is such sweet sorrow. I marked where on the base I wanted the pedestal and glued and clamped it into place. Since the pedestal was end grain, I glued some quarter inch dowels to reinforce the joint. It was probably overkill for this project, but I did it anyway. I glued and clamped the top on, then put a dowel in the center. I 
cut the dowels flush with the bottom and more sanding. I clean the dust with a vacuum and a tack cloth. Then use a Danish oil finish and a coat of wax. If you would like to build this candle holder, free plans are available at my website, tancanmakeit.com. See the link in the description. You can join an exclusive club if you like my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter. I post project previews and silly nonsense, not necessarily in that order. If this is your first time here, please subscribe so you won't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. If you didn't enjoy this video, please share it with someone who doesn't light up your life.